Here she is. Miss Teela, everybody. She made it. Nobody thought it would happen. Here she is. Teela, sit right here. I know you've had a very long... Look at the worried publicist. This, I love the worried publicist. You look so concerned. I want to interview, uh, you. I want to interview you more than I want to interview <laughs> Teela. What is wrong? Why do you look so concerned? Did, was there something wrong with the limo? Oh, no, is this no. on? We just have a yes. We've got, we got 15 very lucky minutes. No. Why, why are you in such a hurry? Where do you have to go? Well, Teela is a very important Teela, I'm going to talk to you. Where do I need a headphone or am I no, good? No, you're or fine. You're special? You say, you, I'm special because <laughs> I need to hear people yell at me because people are telling me okay. what I should be asking. Where do you have to go? You look beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Did you lose weight? Yes, I did. You look really thin. Really thin. Fuck you. Is that bad? Is that bad to say? Yes. I meant that as a compliment. Oh, because now you're in LA. So now you're in New York, so it's not good to be thin. LA, it's a compliment. Here, it's not. You look great. Thank you. <laughs> ambient addiction works for you. What? <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I have an ambient addiction. We were talking about it before. I don't have an show. ambient addiction. I do. Oh, well, I'm poor, totally well, addicted to ambient. You need to get help. But can I ask you a question? Sure. Is it so wrong to be addicted to Ambien? Because it makes me sleep. I can't sleep without it. And so people tell me that I, I take it every night to sleep, every single night. I don't have a... I don't see Have you ever taken that. Ambien in your life? Who hasn't? It, does it put you to sleep when you take it? Yeah. I think it's the greatest drug in the world. <laughs> of all the drugs, why wouldn't you take Ambien every night? If it puts you to sleep, what's wrong with it? I mean, I think that's what they make it for, for people who can't sleep. That's why I take it. But do you I think mean, I'm but do you think I'm I an think addict because I take it every night? You just said that you were, so yeah. Because I say I am, I am. You just said that you're an addict, so why so would I am. you? <laughs> yeah. All right, so I guess I'm an addict then. You can't take what ba you, back what you just said. I can watch this. Whoop, jeep, whoop, jeep, jeep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an addict. I heard you being interviewed this morning mm -hmm. on the Stern Show, a and I heard. A lot of the interview where you had all the personalities mm -hmm. and all this I've known you for a long we've we've kind of known each other for a long time right I photograph you I've interviewed you for a lot of magazines right and we, we've talked I I don't think that you're crazy or I even I, I would even suggest this I don't even think that you could possibly have all these multiple personalities because I think you're so intelligent that you're just constantly reinventing yourself. And I think it's brilliant, but you're so smart. You're so Thank smart you. and you're such a businesswoman. Well, you know what? It's um, it's a Howard Stern show. And right. if that's what they want, this crazy, nutty Tila Tequila, yes. then that's what I gave them. And now everyone can't stop talking about it. And that's I knew what it. I did. I so, knew it, Tila. Tila, um, I <laughs> knew you so well. I know it. You you were it's just like, it's marketing not, yourself. It's not like I'm going to just go to, you know, Howard Stern, the legendary Howard Stern show, and just sit there and, you know, talk about reading books. So, of course, if that's what they want, they're going to get it. So, so did you plan that before? Do you? I don't plan do you, do things. You, it I just came, it just came I to you? I don't plan things. I don't sit there and plan out things. I don't say, oh, what am I going to do or say? That's just part of my personality. Right. I work in the entertainment industry. Yes. So, the word entertainment is in there, so I know I'm there to entertain people. And if they're entertained, then I did my job. You're a marketing genius, in other words. Absolutely. Um, and so that's why I don't care what people think of me, because that's not really me. I, 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 <laughs> the that, real me is I, actually I'll, very I'll, opposite of all that ruckus and riot. Will and you allow me to stop you there? Sure, yeah. I'm sorry. Because I... I, I there I disagree with you. I think you do care. You always come across as this hard as nails. I've been on my own since I've been five years old, kind 11. of girl. 11. You, you come across as so street tough and that nobody can hurt you or affect you. Mm -hmm. I, I don't believe it. I I look in your eye. You have these giant big eyes. And I know when I... Know I when don't I, deny that. You know when I realized that when I photographed you, the, we were in a hotel room the last time I saw you and I photographed you. Remember those pictures? Mm -hmm. And I was photoshopping. I was looking at the pictures. I blew my... I looked at your eyes. And do you know I almost started crying? Your eyes almost made me cry. I saw so much pain in those eyes when I was... As a photographer. Right. When I was photoshopping you. I, I said, this girl really does care what people think about her. You do care. I know you care. I don't care. care what people think about me. Mm. I care about people. I care very deeply about people I love, people I care about. As far as random people who 
say whatever they want about me no i don't care that you, does not affect me um but i do have a very big heart i'm very sensitive towards the people i care about there's a big difference with that as far as people caring about what the world thinks right. of me i don't care do i you, could give do you ever I cry give two shits the first two words i said to you when i walked in here is right. fuck you so you did I, say that <laughs> why did you say that to me because you That's said so something hurtful. that offended me so what i did said, i say that hurt me you so said bad. i look skinny and I meant that as a me, I meant as a compliment. Well, I I took that as an offense, so I said "fuck you." So you now, look like you, since now, you've been here, you've gained five pounds, by the way. Oh, thank you. Some people thank don't you. look good with a double chin. You pull a double chin off pretty well. You have rosy cheeks. <laughs> you look good. Thank you. Why did you move to New York? Um, I'm more. I have like so much energy pent up. I love to make new friends. I love to go out, have fun. LA is just like. It's like a tumbleweed, like crickets at night. It's like every everybody is just right. like one one a.m. Everything's closed. There's no cars in the streets. It's like I'm bored. Can I? I stay up till nine a.m. It's like there's nothing to do. You wake up. It's like everybody's stuck in traffic. It's like you didn't squeeze that Hollywood sponge so tight that there was just nothing left to get out of L.A. Um, not really, because you know what? I've been all over the place and all over the world since I was 11 years old. I was in Flushing, Queens since when I was Flushing, 16 Queens! Years old. Yeah. Flushing, Queens! Flushing, Queens! Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, you know, you know what this... What's, what's, we, all, we what's all that bet. about? <laughs> we had a bet where you... Wait, talk to the mic, talk to the we, mic. We had a bet uh, where the guys from Queens Network. That's what the GFP, GFP stands Network. for, the guys from Queens. And ah. we had a bet on where, where in Queens you were from. And we I, had a whole pool going. I and, bet and you wouldn't even know. I said, you know what? She probably doesn't even remember where she was from in Queens. Oh, please. See, you guys, this is the problem with me and you people. <laughs> Don't you include people me with them. In general. Don't include me with those people. <laughs> well, I know. I said, I said she knows where she's you guys, th you think you know me. You think you have me all down. You think me have me, you know, you know analyze me. But... I'm always, and I will always be one step ahead of everybody else of what you think of me. I will let you think what you think of me. And that's the magic of it. That's the beauty of it. Because I allow that. I, I, I let people think what they think. But I'm always one step ahead. I like you better as a brunette than a blonde. Thanks. I never liked the blonde look. I never went for it. Thanks. Never went for it. You Actually, look better as a brunette. I, I like this look better as well. Yeah. Um, one point, Time Magazine listed you as one of the top 100 people in the world you were on MySpace. what did you have how many millions of people following you i don't know four million three million <laughs> you at that point you were literally on top of the world you had a, a hit reality show mm -hmm. everything was going perfect for you mm -hmm. at what point th things turned at one point when, because i when, quit what what did you quit i quit the reality show and that's when things turned no that's when i my life was absolutely amazing they offered me a season three mm -hmm. more money more fame i said no and i walked away why 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 do that because like the height of your fame why because leave a form not like everybody in this pl if i'm doing something i do it to make me to make me happy if i'm no longer happy doing something i'm not gonna do it i lit i remember telling my managers at the time i said i don't care if they offer me 50 million dollars to do it i'm not gonna do it because i'm not happy um, I just I do things to make me happy. What makes now, you happy now? Um, what makes you happy? Being normal, living my life, uh, partying with my friends, Th meeting new people, uh, finishing up this press tour, and then after this is done, I have to shoot a movie in L.A. My last obligation, and then I am out. Do you want to fall in love and have kids and live a normal life? Is that what you want, or that you can never do that? I, I don't can, think. I, I think you get antsy. I think you'd get so antsy that it, it would fall apart. I think you need the excitement. You need the energy. You couldn't be with a well. First of all, you uh, you're a lesbian now, right? You're not. Did you come out and say that you weren't bisexual anymore? That you're full lesbo? You know what? You you seem to know me so well. Why I'm asking. Just, why don't you just talk about I'm me and I'll just sit you. here and listen? All right. So Tila has gone full lesbo. No. <laughs> what are you? What are you? What the fuck are you? I, I'm totally straight. Believe me. But although I, I did say, tell. I thought although you were gay. A lot of people do. To be honest, what what's gay? A lot of people say that, and I, I'm offended by it. the way you're offended by me calling you skinny. I'm offended by that. Why do I seem gay to you? I'm offended by you. Never mind. I'm offended by everything. <laughs> you do. You get so mad so quick. I'm not mad. 
and I love you. You just have to speak. Um, you know, uh, when you, when I walk in here and you you already assume you know me and you're asking questions. That's not kind of the, the proper way to do an interview. When you interview somebody, you want to get to know them, then you ask them the questions. But if you already know me, I then don't like know you, you act like you do, then when you ask me questions, you're not really asking me questions. You're just kind of throwing Okay, let me away. ask you. Are you gay or straight? Just wondering. Gay or straight? Yes. I'm neither. I'm bisexual. That's an answer. So... Y- but I read online that you th- you had become more interested in women than men. That I was because I was uh, once engaged. Right. And I was going to get married, but that didn't happen, so whatever. So, Casey? It's been wonderful. Love you. I'll What's the matter? We got to go. Oh, my God. There she goes. Goodbye, Taylor. Bye. Everybody, Miss Taylor Tequila. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. <laughs> no, what, what I happened? told you. I told you. I guess that goes off photo shoot tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Well, I told you. Well, what is wrong with her? Why do people keep walking off the show? No, listen. She came in here, guns a blazing. She thought you were going to go somewhere else. What should I have? Where? No what do you think? What do you think happened tonight? Uh, she. Pro- I don't know. She probably thought something else. What was the most? I said she lost. Wait, she seemed very offended by that. Well, no, she she expected to be beat up in here. So do you you think she came in thinking there was going to be a fight and yeah. there wasn't a fight? Yeah. So she was looking for a fight that didn't exist. Oh, she wanted to get out of here. Do you think she didn't want to be here? No, she wanted to get out of here. Yeah, she wanted out. Yeah, she saw TMZ here. She knows people are here. They're gonna. Well, wait, come here. Sit. Come here. This is this is one of the uh, photographers that has some inside information. What? First of all, talking to the mic, talk right here. What, what happened? The publicist was timing her. Like she said, she exactly has 15 minutes left, and that's it. And she was actually. So, do you think the publicist gave her the sign to walk out? Do you think. No, I think you pissed her off. <laughs> what, what do you. You're a lesbian, right? Yes. Do, do you think I asked an inappropriate question when I said, are you gay or straight? Did I say. I tried to say it in a no. sensitive manner. I was trying to say it in a polite no, way. No, but she got offended when you said, are you, you, you look skinny. That's what pissed her off, because when you say she looks skinny. I, but, you know, can I tell you something? Where, where I come from, that's a compliment. I really yes. thought. But in LA, it's a crack. You know, that's like saying you're... TMZ guys, what happened? <laughs> it's not like... Wait, be the TMZ guy. TMZ yeah. guy, come here for a second. No, 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 you don't want to go on camera? <laughs> what, what do you think happened? I, well, the whole Casey, the, her girlfriend died. That was really what... I think we already lost at that point. When I, I put up Casey Johnson. She was just pissed when you called her skinny. No, she walked in here. When you said you look thin, you look really skinny... What? She what? was pissed before. She was pissed. Yeah. Wait, Jessica, you think she was pissed before she even came into the studio? Well, when I went to go get them, it she was l- very obvious. That she was mad? Yeah. yeah she, was mad she was mad before she got here. I don't know what, at, at what. Do you think she was mad at us? Oh, I don't know. I don't even know if it had anything to do with us, but it was very clear that she was angry about something. Because even when I, I introduced myself, like, hi, nice to meet you, she went... What the? She fuck? might have been Not pissed because she had a share limo or something. Do you think that's what it was? Didn't Rachel just say that yeah, they had a share like limo? Do you think she didn't like Mike? Mike, come here. <laughs> Mike, right, everybody. Mike, Mike, right. Hey, Mike, right. Mike, sit down. We had another train wreck tonight. Another train wreck. What, what happened? What, what happened with what? What? <laughs> Tequila, Tequila just stormed out of here. Very upset. What did you do? I said she looked thin. I said uh, she looked thin. Yeah. Well, what happened? She she walked in. Chauncey said, "You look really thin. Wow, As a you look really thin." I and she said, "Fuck you." <laughs> and the interview was just it just went downhill <laughs> from there. And then I said, "Are are you a lesbian now, or are you straight?" She goes, "Well, why don't you tell me? You seem to know." And I said, "Well, I don't know. Let me ask another way. Are you a lesbian or are you straight?" And then I just sat there quietly waiting for the answer, and she wouldn't answer. She just we all sat here. What what happened? Was it something in the limo? Was it something by the bar? Was it that she was in a strip club? What was it that I, got her so upset? I don't know. She just she was sitting at the restaurant. She wanted something to eat. Then her publicist says, publicist said she got to get her on within thirty minutes. So that's when I brought the publicist in here. Yeah. And then she was just in the restaurant with an attitude. She had an attitude. That was it? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, and then, and then she said she made up the whole Stern thing. Then I asked her about her multiple personalities on Howard Stern today, and and she almost was very. I, I thought she was forthcoming about that. She said, "Well, Stern, you have to come up with a gimmick, and that was my gimmick. Am I right or wrong? Is that what she said?" Yes. No. Yeah. I mean, listen. It, I, I think she came in here thinking you're going to ambush her in some way. I think maybe she is crazy and has multiple personalities, and, and that, that, was, that was the person. mean person. Exactly. That, that was the maybe person. she really is fucked up, and that was one of her crazy personalities. Don't you have a photo shoot with her tomorrow? I did. I don't have one yeah. now. <laughs> like, not anymore. My day just became wide open tomorrow. If anybody needs a photographer <laughs> for, from 3 to 5, I'm available. That that was crazy. No, I'm there was so it, tired it, it of this. Fifteen minutes. They yeah. came and said that she has to be on fifteen minutes. <laughs> yeah, she came on for fifteen minutes, and this was is she how she left. Was she here for fifteen minutes? Nine, nine minutes and thirty-five seconds. Or something. Before she walked out. Yes, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. So she always come on. And seconds. Hey guys, I'll I'll take the blame. Listen, I'll, no, when, you I, did when I fuck wrong. up, I'll take the blame. I didn't think I did anything wrong. I was trying to be nice. I really. Hey, listen, how great was it when I said, when I was photoshopping her eyes, it made me cry because I saw such tenderness in her eyes. But, but see, the, the whole time she's thinking you're going to ambush her. Everything you said to her was, okay, lead, where is it coming? Lead, where lead, is then, it coming? But nothing required her storming out. Nothing required that. There's not, I mean, God, there's a lot of people in the room. Is there anything? Seriously, I'm being no, dead, you brought, dead you brought serious. Up, you brought up Casey. I'm getting tired of people walking off the show. No, we need seatbelts. <laughs> I'm about we got, to walk we actually, Mike, we got to put seatbelts on the couch. <laughs> Maybe we can put one of our it's security got, guards right Either know. we got to lock the door. How yeah. funny that would have been if the door was locked. Oh, my would my that <laughs> have been radio gold if she couldn't have left? Pulling it. Watching her pulling the door while we sit here and just stare at her trying to get out. My car is driving her. Do we want to screw around no, with don't, her? No, don't. Is she back in the limo? Yeah. Oh, she has to get a ride. Why are we giving her a ride? She walked off the show. I didn't, I didn't know she oh, walked off the show. Tell the limo driver to come back. Now tell her to take, tell, tell him to take the long way. Get stuck in traffic. Tell, tell him tell him to go via New Jersey. Tell him to go over the George Washington Bridge. You know, he, through the Lincoln Tunnel. Here, Connecticut. Here's something I wasn't going to tell you. All right. There was me. the entire week from everybody that I spoke to that she's coming on. Right. From, from, you know, the media distribution uh, companies that we're connected to. Right. They all said, are you sure she's going to show up? And when she, I said, yes, she's showing up. They said, right. are you sure she's going to show up? I said, yes, she's going to show up. And then they said, I'm sure she's going to walk off. Do you think it's a gimmick? No. Do you listen, think it's a plan? Or do you think that she's just so crazy that she gets mad that easy? No, I, don't, I, I think she was looking for a reason to get mad. I think if you, if you said... I think it's like for somebody that says she doesn't give a shit what anybody has to say Good or think point. about her, no. yeah. she sure does give a shit That's about what, what you she say. She just got done telling us she doesn't care what people say, that she doesn't get mad. She got mad so she, easy. She so She's so mean. So fast. She's so mean. Yeah, what, what, are, are, people, what are people saying in the chat room? Uh, let's see. Let's She's go down this. a drama queen oh, slash drama back. bisexual. Yeah, who's got, a, who's got her phone number? I don't have a phone number. She'll come back. You want, should we call her? Yeah, Give her a call. <laughs> I have a phone Apologize. number. Apologize. Want me to call her? <laughs> All right. Let me, call, let me call her. Hold yeah. on a second. <laughs> let, me, let me find out what happened. I didn't here. even get a chance to offer her a job. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. We didn't even get a chance to play a song. I mean, she's unemployed, right? She's not doing anything. Let me, let me find out. I don't know. You know, listen, you... you she could sing on stage. What could strip? she have been... Right. Well, you did say she... she right. What did you say? She go. burned out her welcome? What, what was... What did let's, let's find out. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Let's see if she picks up. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Got to turn the volume up. Let her know if she's on the air. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should I leave a message? I'll leave a message. should leave a message. Yeah. Text her. All right. Well, we'll say we're sorry. Yeah, leave her a message. Tila, what's the matter with you? What did I say? I'm telling you, you don't look skinny. In fact, we were just saying when you left that you definitely had a double chin. I've seen double chins in my life, and you are definitely growing a double chin. So please do not get upset. And as for Casey Johnson, I didn't mean that Casey Johnson. You gotta. You said you weren't sensitive. You're so sensitive, and you're so mean. And I want to know if this means our shoots canceled tomorrow. <laughs> Tila, I love you, and you're welcome back on the show next Wednesday. In fact, I want to offer you a job as my co-host. You and I, 
<laughs> you and I on the GFQ network. Tila, call me back. I love you. Your eyes still make me cry. I think you're a very warm and wonderful bisexual, and I and I think that you are uh, not thin. You're not thin, and you have no ambient addiction, and you're normal. You're normal. No, you're not normal. I mean, you are, you are normal. I mean, you're not normal. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Right. You still didn't offer a job stripper. Uh, I, mean, I, 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 I listen. Taylor, you still there? Taylor? <laughs> Mike, Mike, Mike wants to know if you want to work here at the club. How much could Taylor make here as a feature? Would she be a feature? I don't know if she could be a feature. I don't know. What could Taylor pull in? On a nightly basis? Yeah. Ten, twenty thousand. Deal it. Twenty thousand dollars a night if you come work here at Sapphire. I want you to think about it. And if you're interested, <laughs> ask for Mike Wright. He's usually here in the evening from seven o'clock on. All right. Call me later. I love you, Taylor. I love you. I love the you. Economy's not that bad. 